Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Panegue. Today I will be presenting the work developed during my master thesis at Universidad de Chile and also the work that was developed during my secondments as a Dustbuster um, member. So this work has been done in collaboration with a lot of people of with whom I highlight my master's advisors, Laura Perez, and also Cassandra Hall, Benedetta Veronesi and Giuseppe Lodato, whom are also part of the Dustbusters collaboration and with whom I shared during my secondments to the University of Leicester and the University in Milan. This work is a kinematic and multi-wavelength study of the spiral structure in Elias 227. And in Elias 227 is this young class two disc, which has been previously observed in ALMA at high resolution as one of the D-sharp targets and has been reported to have an extremely massive disc of material, around 30% of the stellar mass. It also has two large grand scale spiral arms, which are traced here in the work by Jane Wang in 2018, and that have been reported to be symmetric. Additionally, um, the tumor Q parameter of this disk was studied in Laura Perez's work in 2016, where they found that this to be stable under the usual assumptions. This is important because the spiral structure of Elias 227 could be either due to the interaction with an external or a planetary companion, or also due to the disk itself being gravitationally unstable. So in this study, we tried to determine what is the origin of the spiral alarm by first analyzing multi-wave continuum ALMA observations. To do this, we analyzed 0.89, 1.3, and 3.3 millimeter observations. And these are the subtracted images once we have subtracted the atomically average um, intensity profile in all the images in order to enhance the spiral and be able to trace it. We trace roughly symmetric spirals at all wavelengths. Here are the pitch angle values. And this is expected in the case of a gravitationally unstable disk. Additionally, we have gas observations. So we trace the emitting surface for the 13 CO and the C18O using a method developed by Christoph Pond in 2018. And when we do this, we find that there is a scale height asymmetry that distinguishes between west and east. So this disk appears to be highly perturbed. Additionally, across several channel maps, we see many perturbations or kinks, which seem to be co-located with the spiral features. And contrary to previously detected kinks associated with the presence of a planetary companion, these kinks are more in resemblance to what Cassandra Hall has found in her 2020 work of a GI wiggle. So this is a strong perturbation across several velocities that is also co-located with the innermost spiral feature. This is observed both in the 13CO and also in the C18O, even if less strong. With this in mind, we decide to conduct some GI modeling using SPH models. So this is smooth particle hydrodynamical models that were conducted using the phantom code by Daniel Price and also afterwards processed using the radiative transfer code MCFOS developed by Christoph Pont. And um, the creation of the mock ALMA images was done with the help of the Galileo code developed by Marco Passari. Uh, this is done so that we can accurately compare the SPH models to the observations at the three different wavelengths that we have been studying. So we test this by uh, conducting a, a range um, of simulations uh, in order to sample different parameter spaces of this to star mass ratios and also density profiles. We find that the best fit is with the this to star mass ratio 0.3, which is in agreement with the observational constraints and with its exponentially tapered power law of one for the density profile. Here is the comparison between the model images um, of the SPH simulations and the observations in the subtracted images. And here are the, um, the obtained values of pitch angles. So we can see that the pitch angle values are very similar between the observations and the simulations. Also, the extent and the morphology of the spiral is very similar between the models and the observations. So with this work, what we seem to be noticing is that ELIAS-227 has a spiral feature possibly arising from gravitational instabilities. This is an agreement not only with the similarity to the models, but also to the constraints of uh, symmetric spirals in the observations and also a large scale perturbation across different channel maps. Thank you very much. And thank you to the Dustbusters collaboration for allowing me to learn um, and to work on this project during my master thesis uh, together with many of um, the people that have been part of this collaboration.